Hi guys, Tina Babak with you and in this video I will share with you my tips how to avoid emails going to spam and how to improve your email's deliverability. So let's dive in! Ok guys, so this is my tip number one. Uh, if you want to avoid your emails going to spam, you just need to ask your subscribers to whitelist your email address, okay? And this is how it works, okay? So first of all, you, where do you get subscribers, okay? In my case, I will show you one, one of my uh, funnels, okay? So my funnel uh, for Affiliaxa and for the bootcamp starts like this, okay? And when the guy subscribes, okay, he will be uh, redirected, let's say, let's try to subscribe okay to a second page okay and the second page is already a sales page okay but he will also receive uh, an email from me okay and he will start receiving emails uh, because i created an autoresponder but what's important in my first letter okay what i do uh, okay, I say, okay, uh, this is who I am, this is what I want you to do, blah, blah, blah. But first, let's make sure that you keep receiving these updates in your inbox, okay? Watch this video to learn how to whitelist my email. So I even have uh, created the video to show them how to do this, how to whitelist my email, but uh, this is not necessarily for you to do the video. You just, you, uh, you, you may use this text, okay? So see, prescription, okay, very important. Please do this as soon as possible. Whitelist all emails from gina.ginababak.com. So this is actually uh, the email address which I uh, use to send uh, these emails from, okay? And you just use this text, okay, to do the same. And by the way, not only for the first email, you, you can simply do this PS, postscriptum, in each and every letter, okay? And uh, uh, the first letter, the guy who subscribed for Arfiliaxa, so he will be, uh, uh, he, he will go and uh, will, will go and try to find out this email because the email uh, is very important for him because I give him some freebies on this email and everything, okay? So he will check spam, promotional folder and everything and he will find this first email. And in, in his first email, again, uh, he, he will see this, okay? Let's make sure that you keep receiving updates. These updates in your inbox and this is what you need to do, okay? Please add me to your uh, address book, drag your email to your priority box, click to, uh, to star or favorite this email, add me to your address book and this is actually the guarantee for you that this guy will see, uh, will start seeing uh, your emails and go into your, to his uh, primary folder, okay? So this is a tip number one and here again just ask them to whitelist your email. Okay, so my tip number two. Guys, you just need to keep your list clean, okay? <laughs> So this is what I usually do. Okay, so you just choose the contact details and subscription date. Okay, I give usually them like 30 days to make sure that uh, they actually see my emails because actually I send a lot of emails. I send minimum 2-3 emails per day. So I just don't want, uh, let's say, to choose people who just subscribed. Okay, so I give them 30 days period. Okay, now uh, my second uh, filter, again, this is in get, get response. Uh, contact actions, message not open, any message, never. So if those people who are like all uh, older, okay, in my list, like for many for many months, okay, at least at least one month, one month and, and more, okay, and if they never opened my emails, okay, seven people here right now, okay, why should I keep them inside of my list? So just make sure that you clean your list at least once uh, per, uh, in 30 days or even even I mean even uh, more often because it, it all depends uh, how many uh, how aggressive you are okay with your emails but usually 30 days is a good period to clean your list okay and next what you need to do you just uh, I mean you just delete these people okay delete from your list and delete from account so this is my tip number two just keep your list clean Okay, our next tip 
is uh, you need to use a professional email domain if you want to get good uh, email deliverability and of course uh, you also you would want to build your brand so in my case i use ginababak.com um, uh, brand okay website and uh, this is how you do it uh, you simply go to uh, the to your account click manage account and you will see these email addresses okay so what you need to do you just need to click add email okay and you need to uh, choose an email you want to add but again guys this email should be already created using your um, domain registrar okay in my case ginababak.com is my domain and gina slash ginababak.com this is my email as you can see it's confirmed okay meaning that first you need to go to your register so for example if you are on the name chip okay this is what you would need to do you go to your domain which you want to uh, use for your emails you click go to cPanel, okay, and on your cPanel, you will see um, email accounts, okay? Then just click email accounts and create an email account which you want to use with this domain. So for example, I create Gina, GinaBabak.com, but I could create, I can create another one like, okay, um, bootcamp, GinaBabak.com, any email, okay? And when you have this email and you will add this email using this service, okay, they will just send you um, an information what you need to do to confirm this email, okay? Again, don't panic. This is very easy to do. Just follow the steps. Okay, add this email. First, you need to create the domain. Choose the domain. Then go to cPanel. Okay, let me show you. You just go to cPanel. Next, you simply uh, choose uh, email accounts here. See, choose email accounts and create an email account for the domain which you want to use for this. Okay, and after that, just go back here and uh, you just follow the instructions to confirm this email okay they will just send you an email for confirmation and after that what will happen you will have actually a cool email address uh, connected to your domain okay and this is how they actually see that uh, you are not a spammer with just a free gmail or hotmail or yahoo.com account okay this is very important okay this is probably the most important tip okay guys so you just need to create a professional email domain first okay and then make sure you use it uh, in the from name okay so for example when i create an email okay I make sure that I use this professional email in my from address, okay, from who address, okay. Next, simply uh, you will have like your deliverability much, much, much better, okay. So this is it, this is my next tip. Okay, my next tip is try to avoid spammy words or simply change some letters in them, okay? So let me show you actually the example. So if I will just copy this, for example, okay, I want to promote this deal of the day, okay? And I will just delete here, delete here, and I will put it from the very beginning. So see, these words marked in red, these are spammy words, which actually can um, lead you lead your email to spam folder or promotional folder so you may just slightly change them okay see like this new point win okay and then simply use this okay th this uh, tool which i'm using is called inbox equalizer okay but unfortunately you cannot buy this anymore maybe they will release another version of inbox equalizer uh, this year, but at this uh, at this point of time, you cannot buy this. But you you got the idea, okay? You you, you simply understand that uh, words like now, new, earn, make money, or money, great, investment, okay? It, 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 these words are spammy words for email. <laughs> so just slightly change them, like like you see here, okay? So this is it. This is uh, this is uh, the, the tip I wanted to share with you. Okay guys, so this is how you can avoid your emails going to spam and uh, how you can improve your email deliverability. So if you like this video, please give me some comments, likes, and if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon.